I just want to do a quick video on how I uh, remove all the black anodizing on these uh, links for my Cloud Buster. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of people use uh, oven cleaner to take off the anodizing and uh, then polish them up or just sand them down. But um, if, you have a, if you have a band saw like one of these, you could do this in literally less than a minute from taking them off to sanding them down. So I, I'll take it off, I'll put it in the drill, I'll spin it in the drill on the sand, the belt sander, and then I'll spin it on these foam, foam pads here. I'll spin it on those to give it a nice uh, mill finish. So I'll just go through the process, how long it literally takes me. This applies for links that, you know, because they're cylindrical, so you can spin them. But, you know, flat parts, people use oven cleaner or whatever. I don't. Or you could just sand them. I put in one end. I tighten that down, but I don't tighten it too tight. Make sure it's straight. I take it here. I do the one side. Take it out to the other side. Then I take it to the uh, get closer to the sanding pad. Which is fun. Then I use the I use the finer one. Take it out, I spin it around, snug it up, do the first one. That one's like a 400 grit, and then this is more like 800. Get that nice polish on there, put my tie rod ends on back on. Now you have a fully sanded, polished link for manodizing. That's how long it took to do one, guys. It's got a nice mill finish. I, I really don't want to polish it. I just want to give it a finish, a little bit rougher. And then when, it, when they get beat up, you could do it again if they get uh, scratched up. But, you know, that's up to you. So thanks for watching. That's how I do my, my Cloudbuster uh, links.